What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today I'm going to show you how to CPU mine the new coin Zeus. Now, it's not quite a new coin. It did used to be called Zeos, and there's a swap going on right now, and it should be fully ready to go in 30 days or so. However, you can start CPU mining with the official wallet right now. But first, check out the new shirt. We finally got him in and some samples are starting to flow. We have I bought your GPU shirt by Son of Attack. You can purchase it with the link in the description below or head to sonofattack.com slash merch. Welcome back. So Zeus, like I said, is a new branch of Zeos and Zeos is going to be pretty much defunct at this point. So I hope you got your swaps in if you were invested into it. It is a masternode coin with a CPU GPU mineable proof of work as well. The GPU portion, however, right now is not ready to be used. However, if you're in early enough with the wallet, you can go ahead and start CPU mining, which we're going to go over right now. Alrighty, so to get started, you're going to have to get the wallet. You can get the pre-release wallet from their GitHub, which will be in the description below. If you click on over to that link, you'll see that there's a Linux version, a Windows version, and of course there is as well a Mac OS X version. All of them have the feature of being able to CPU mine, but today we're going to cover Windows. Maybe in a later video, if you guys are interested, we'll cover Mac, etc. But for now, all you're going to want to do is either download the 32-bit or the 64-bit. I already have a version downloaded here. So once you've extracted it, all you have to do at this point is double click to install. It'll ask for an install directory. For this tutorial, go ahead and leave it as the default so you can follow along with the changing of the config files to get yourself started up and running mining the coin. Once it's done, you're going to have to run the wallet and wait for it to sync. And once it's up to date, you can get started with mining. The first thing we're going to have to do is edit the config file. The config file should be under your app data roaming folder, which would be under your user profile, app data, and then roaming. If you currently do not see an app data folder, you can actually just head on over to folder options by simply searching in the Windows 10 bar. It's probably the easiest way for most people. And then you can pop it open and see the option to show hidden files, folders, and drives. And when you do that, just click apply. And you should see this kind of transparent app data folder go ahead and rear its little head up and you can get in and hop into your Zeus files. So here in the Zeus files, we're going to want to edit the Zeus.conf file. So you can do that by right clicking and clicking edit. You want to input this, which I'll put in the description below. Listen one, max connections 80, gen one and gen proc limit equals negative one. At this point, Click file and save and then close out of the file. You are now ready to mine. To start mining, you're just going to go ahead and click tools and then debug console. As you can see, we already have the commands populated in here. So I'm just going to use the up key, but you're going to want to input set generate space true to start mining. To confirm or to verify that you're mining, you can right click the start button and then select task manager. You can say more details if yours looks like this and then you will get the CPU usage, memory usage, disk and network. And at this point you can go ahead and verify that the wallet is mining with your CPU. To stop mining, all you have to do is use the command set generate false and press enter. And at this point, you will see in Task Manager that it has stopped mining for us. I'm going to go ahead and leave it mining right here. So that wraps up how to CPU mine the Zeus coin. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll be going over the GPU mining as soon as we get word that it's ready. So stay tuned and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in that. Other than that, leave a like, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike and let me know why in the comment section, of course. And other than that, I'll see you next Tuesday.